Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Shopify Odoo Connector. In this video, I am going to show you how to import products from Shopify store to Odoo. When importing the products from Shopify store to Odoo, you need to make sure that all your products in your Shopify store need to have a unique SKU value. If you are managing a variable product, you need to make sure that all the variation of the variable product needs to have a unique SKU value as well. Let's consider a case scenario where I have all my products available in my Shopify store and those products are not available in Oju. Now before importing those products from my Shopify store to Oju, I would need to set certain product configuration in my Shopify Odoo connector. So let's go to the Shopify Odoo connector, go to configuration and go to settings. If I would like to import my sales description from my Shopify store to Ojo, and after importing those sales description into Ojo, if I would like to make changes from Odoo to Shopify store, I would need to activate use sales description of Odoo product. Now for the rest of the product configuration, I have to select the instance from the drop down menu and go to product configuration. Now since I do not have my products in Ojo, I will have to activate auto create product if not found. Now let me explain you what this configuration does. When importing the products from my Shopify store to Ojo, if the product is not available in Ojo, this will automatically create the same product in Odoo as well. Apart from this, if you want to import the images of your product from your Shopify store to Odoo, you'll have to activate Shopify sync or import images. Set the price list in which you will be managing your product price from the drop down menu. These are the necessary product configuration you need to set up before importing the products from Shopify store to Odoo. Now click on save and the necessary product configuration have been saved. So now let me show you how to import the products. Now to import the products, go to the Shopify dashboard, click on perform operation button and from the operation menu, select import products. Now we have a field over here says import based on. So we have to select import create date. So you'll have to enter when was the product created in your Shopify store. So in my case, it was created on December 1st, 2021. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to click on execute. So once you click on execute, it will create a product queue. Now this queue can either be processed automatically or manually. Now to process the queue manually, you'll have to click on process queue manually over here and click on process queue manually. This will process the whole queue manually. However, if you want to process this queue automatically, you can just leave the queue like that for a minute or two and it'll automatically get processed. Once the queue is processed, you'll be able to see over here a process banner with all the queue, with all the products done. So now you can go to products and products over here. You'll be able to see all the 22 products shown over here. Apart from this, if you go to the dashboard, you'll be also be able to see over here as well. Now these products are also available in my do sales module or inventory module as well. So if you go to the inventory module and if you go to products and products and you'll be able to see all your 22 products available over here as well. Let's consider a case scenario where I have all my products available in my Shopify store and those products are also available in Odoo as well. So how do I sync those products? Before syncing those products, I'll have to set certain configuration in my Shopify application. To do that, go to the Shopify application, go to configuration and settings, select the instance from the drop-down menu 
and under the product configuration you will have to deactivate auto create product if not found and then click on save. When syncing the products between Shopify and Odoo, you will have to make sure the Shopify product SKU value and the Odoo product internal reference number needs to be same. So let's take an example. I have a product called Wallet. The SKU of the product Wallet is Wallet. The same product is also available in my Odoo as well. Let's go to the inventory application. Let's go to products and products and I have a product wallet. Its internal reference number is same as my Shopify SKU value. So now let's sync both the products. To do that, go to the Shopify application, go to perform operation, from the operation menu, select import products, import based on create date and click on execute. This is going to create a queue. Now this queue can either be processed automatically or it can process manually as well. To process the queue manually, click on process queue manually and click on process queue manually. However, if you wish to process the queue automatically, you can just leave the queue like that for a minute or two and it will automatically get processed. As you can see, the queue has been processed. If you go to products and products, and if you see the product wallet, it has been ticked, which indicates that the product has been synced between the Odoo and the Shopify store. Let's consider a case scenario where I have my product available in my Shopify and the product is available in Odoo. However, the product SKU value of the Shopify and the product internal reference number of the Odoo are different. How do I map these two products? So let's go to the Shopify store. I have a product called watch. Its SKU value is watch. The same product is also available in my Odoo. So let's go to the inventory application. Let's go to products and products. As you can see, I have a product called watch. However, the watch internal reference number is watch underscore one, two, three. How do I map these two products? To do that, click on action, click on prepare product for export. Select, you can either map the products using export in CSV file or export in Excel sheet. So let's select export in Excel sheet and click on export. It will download the Excel sheet. Open it. You have a field called product default code, which represents Odoo's internal reference number. You have another field called Shopify product default code, which represents Shopify SKU value. The Odoo default code is watch underscore one, two, three. However, the Shopify default code is just watch. So I'm going to edit that and I'm going to save it. So now let's go to our Shopify application. Let's go to perform operation. From the operation menu, select map products and upload the file. And click on execute. Once you have uploaded the file, you'll be able to see under the products and products menu. Let's search for the product watch. As we can see, the watch product has been uploaded to the product menu and it has not been synced with my Shopify store. To do that, go to operation, select the instance from the drop-down menu and click on import products and click on execute. It is going to create a queue. Now this queue can either be processed automatically or you can process manually. To process the queue manually, click on process queue manually and click on process queue manually. 
However, if you wish to process the queue automatically, just leave the queue like that for a minute or two and it will be automatically be processed. So now let's go to products and products. Let's search for the product watch. As you can see, the product watch has been synced. If you click on the product and if you go to variants, you'll be able to see the product watch has been synced with the SKU of watch underscore 123. Apart from this, if you wish to import a specific product from your Shopify store to Odoo, we also have that feature in our connector. Let's say I have a product mask available in my Shopify store. However, this product is not available in my Odoo. As you can see in my screen, the product is not available. So if I wish to import this specific product from my Shopify store to Odoo, I'll have to go to the Shopify dashboard menu, click on perform operation button. From the operation menu, select import specific product and go to your Shopify store. The product mask has a unique ID. Copy this ID from the URL and go to the Shopify application and under the template ID, paste the Shopify ID and click on execute. This is going to import the specific product mask from my Shopify store to Oju. As you can see, the queue has been done. So now let's go to our inventory module and check for that product. As you can see, the product mask has been imported from my Shopify store to Odoo.